hello good morning welcome back to my channel my name is cynthia in today's tutorial i will be showing you how to make this beautiful dress you are seeing here this dress was in i saw it online um by worry picking i think this was one of the this is the particular dress she wore during moses bliss's um white wedding so if this is what you want to learn please sit back and relax make sure you don't go anywhere so these are the fabric i'll be using to make this cloth this is the net lace okay i'll be using for the yoke parts and then i'll be using um satin the mirror face for the base of this dress if you notice the dress was covered with something that looks that looks like a basket so i'll be using doll face for covering the words the um the base and i'll be using mirror face for what for the base all right so please don't forget to like share and subscribe let's go to the class properly we'll start by drafting out the 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 base the base is a corset all right the base of this dress is a corset so um we're going to start off right away i'm working with here i'm working with shoulder of 17.5 so when you divide by two, you should have around um around eight point seven. So this is the shoulder here. So I'll be adding half inch for my allowance. And so from there, I'll be needing my armhole. I'll be using nine inches for my armhole, all right. And the bust point, I'll be using ten. And under the bust, the bust under the bust length, I'll be using. On the bust, I'll be using 16. Okay, all right. So if you look at the dress, it has backs on it. There's actually a backs on it. So uh, I'll be using. I'll be adding three inches for my waist. One, two, three, and then I'll be adding back. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need that up to like six inches, but I don't have much paper. So what I'm going to do is this. I'll just when I'm transferring to my fabric. I'll add up what's the bust, okay? I'll add it up. So now let's make all these lines visible. It's one inch for the back side, and then the remaining is going to be for my back. So remember, like I said, we will be adding it up when we are cutting what the fabric. Or better still, just if you don't have, if you don't want to make mistake, you can just use your masking tape, add more um, paper to that place so that you won't make mistake. I'll do that, right? Maybe I'll do it off camera. So now I'll just draw my ample curve. Okay. Now if you look at the dress, it has total neck. So for the total neck, I'll be using 2.75 for the deep and for the width, I'll be also using 2.75 for the width. Hope you can see it very clear. So using 2.2.75, 2 2.75 is what I'm using, both for the width and for the deep. So I'm going to connect. Now I'll come down with one inch from the shoulder for the shoulder slope, and then I'm going to connect this okay so once i connect this the next is i'm going to get my nipple to nipple all right the nipple to nipple i'm working with her bust my uh, client's bust is 47.5 so the nipple to nipple i'll be working with i'll be using 5.5 all right That's when we ask, how do you get the cup size of this person? Of course, there's 48 in the market. That's how we do it. If you're working for a bigger cup size, maybe if I'm sewing, I'll show you how I usually do, how I usually sew for a bigger cup size, all right? I do that often time because, you know, I'm busting. My bust is 48, so I derive the means of um, increasing the cup. I buy cup 48 and then I increase it. And so uh, I'll show you us maybe in another video how to increase your cup size. But for today, let's continue with this. All right, so I'm going to come to the bust. On the bust, I'll take one inch on both sides. 
one inch on both sides. Then I'll carry it down to meet what the length of the um, paper. Then I'll come back to this place. I'll take it down also. Okay. And so now I want the yoke. I want to determine where the yoke should start from. Okay. So from shoulder, I want the yoke to start somewhere around seven inches, which is here. So we just mark. Now, if you look at the one uh, Mori Pekin is wearing, you know her now, Mori Pekin, you know her, the comedian. So if you look at the one she's wearing, I think I, ha I have the picture. Let me show us the picture. Right. So you see, hope you can see the style. So this is actually the style we are making. This is the style. Let me put on all the lights. So you can see, this is the style. Let me take it close. You can see this is the style. So, um, for the yoke, I would be, I will use seven inch around here. Okay, don't worry. I'm going to show us how to get this. So let's carry my, the line to me, the seven inches. So let's get at that for, so I'll take one and a half inch here because of the bust tightening. And then I'll take one inch here. Now this is how I usually do here. I measure from the distance from where the yoke will start to the underbust. So like I can determine where my where my bust point is. This is how I determine my bust point. Alright. Especially if I'm making a course, this is how we determine our bust point. Okay. So I have nine inches. Nine divided by two is four point five. So the here becomes our water bust point. So which means we're supposed to come down with um around one point two five. So here it automatically becomes my what? My first, first point. So I'm going to connect this. It's just a normal corset you are making. Where the work is, is on the, the basket you are seeing. Or the drip. Alright, so I, I took one and a half here and then one inch here. So I'm going to also connect this. This is for a bigger cup size, even for smaller cup size. This also, this is also how I make it. All right. So now the next we are going to do is to come to the cleavage part. Now this cleavage, I'm going to take half inch. You know, like we do now, half inch. Take half inch on the cleavage area. So I'm going to mark this to touch um, where I want my um, my yoke to stop. All right. So now. That's why I took seven here. Now I'm going to come down here with two inches, which is somewhere here. That's where I wanted my yoke to, to stop. All right, so I'm going to connect this way. Okay, so now you can connect. All right, so I've connected. And then once I connect this, I'm going to connect the armhole part. All right, so and uh, i'll just try to make here look somehow um up all right not straight okay so i've connected it so this is how it's going to look like now let's continue with our corset remember where your nipple to nipple sorry your um, boss point is remember it was somewhere around here so try to indicate where your boss point is okay so that's my boss point so what i'm going to do now is to connect my cup I'll use a brake line to connect the curve. Okay, so this is it. So once I connect this part, now the boss is usually fuller on this area. Remember, the nipple to nipple was 5.5. .5. So we took out half inch, so now we have five inches. So on this part, where the um, boss is usually fuller, instead of putting five inch, I'll still I'll maintain the nipple to nipple, which is 5.5. .5. So remember where the boss point is, remember. Okay, so now I'll just connect it to the words, the nipple towards, to, to the words, the new words, bus point, which is somewhere around there. All right, so now to connect this part, you're going to still maintain that 5.5, .5, your nipple five, nipple, your nipple to nipple 5.5. .5. So I'll maintain it, I'll put it here, I'll connect it to the armhole, and then I'll take it down to meet this. All right, so this is usually how we, I uh, usually make my corset. This, um, this particular corset I'm making is effective for all boss, all bosses, all right? From boss, from boss, 
32 to 40 in fact you enjoy it more if it's a bigger bust so if you are here and you've been trying to work for um, a bigger bust and you find it very difficult you're very very welcome okay but you can also use it for smaller bust and all that all right you say i'm going to start taking my measurement all right the bust i'm working with is um what 7.5 less a is 48 so 48 divided by 4 we have 12 inches so 12 is around here The 12 is around here so i'll be adding three inches for my allowance don't, don't mind what's happened there just add your three inches for your allowance okay it's not going to change anything all right like i said i'll be expanding my cup i'll be using a foreign cup but i will teach you how to expand the cup in another video maybe i'll maybe next week i'll show you how to expand your cup if i make it for your what a bigger cup size all right so now the other boss i'm working with is um, 38 divided by four we have 9.5 which is here all right so i'll be adding three inches for my allowance and then i'll add back these two inches so now i this is i usually use my underboss for my waist because sometimes because i want i really want my waist to that waist part to have this effect that's called and snatch effect so because of that i don't mind anything waste i just use the underboss so it's the underboss we are using so whatever i have i'll just carry it up and there okay so this is it now remember this one inch i added here is for the back side because of the cutting the back from this place so i added one inch for the back allowance so because of that back side from here now i'll be connecting my back remember like i said that the back is six inches from from the waist that's from this whole place from the waist which is here add one inch then extra six inches to give us the bust but for now i for my clients let's see what we have we have this is here this is the um where the waist stop we have one two three four five six so i should be adding um i should be adding extra two inches to complete what the six okay but sometimes if you Check your client if they have big tummy. All right. Sometimes if they have big tummy, it's good you extend it more, maybe by seven, because sometimes if you use six inches, it won't go well. So sometimes uh, just check their their um their belly, their tummy, so that you know how to whether you come down more or not. So um, going to just go ahead and add up more paper here. But before I add more paper. I'll show you how to connect. So from there, I'll just connect my backs this way to this place. I'll just go off camera and add words, the paper. It's time to cut out the back. Now to cut out the back, it's just very simple. This is what I do here. This um, one inch we added for the allowance here. I'll just hold it inside so I can cut out the back. Now this is a normal corset, all right? It's a normal corset. You want the simple one, you know. Okay, there's nothing much about it. It's a normal corset, all right? So now you can decide to put your zip allowance. You can decide to put zip, or you forget about the zip. That is, if you want a zip, a zipper. She said she wants a zip, and now I remember. She said she wants a zip on the back. It's going to have for her. So now for the back neckline. All right, I'm not going to use that same um, 2.75 for the back neckline. For the deep, I'll be using 1.75. And then the width is um, the same thing, okay? The width will be the same thing for 1.75, while the width is the same thing. So this is for the back. So now I'm going to the case in the case where my boss point is here. This was where it is here. And then this is my nipple to nipple somewhere here. Alright. So I'll just trace out the armholes. Remember the back is also going to have the yoke, okay?
So I'll just cut out. I'll just cut it out. So So I want to trace it out. So here is my first point. Okay. So it indicates where you want your yoke to start. Your yoke can start from anywhere. Alright. This is going to have zip on the back. Just indicate where you want the yoke to start. So I think the yoke, I want the yoke to start from somewhere around 8 inches. Alright. So I'll just mark it straight. Just mark it straight or you can decide to make it a C curve. It all depends on the kind of um, the yoke you want on the back part. Alright, let's make a, let's make it a C curve. You can make it a C curve, you can make it straight or you can even make it a V. It all depends on what you want. You can make it a V, alright? But let the V not be too sharp. It all depends on the kind of curve you want. Remember, you have C curve, the V curve, and straight curves. It all depends on what you want on this part, alright? So now, I'll choose whichever one I want. So any more you want, just collect. Alright, now the nipple to nipple, I'll just mark it. Okay? Now we've marked it. So it's time to cut. Now I went ahead to add that um, little um, allowance. So all right, so this is it, and this is the top side. This side is going to sit. All right, that all happened is that I'm going to go ahead and cut out the fabric. Okay, we'll cut out the fabric and then I'll just show us. I'll use this part to show us how to do the draping. All right, I'll use this. I'll use the paper to show us how to do the draping. Or I'll use the material. Let's cut out the material. We'll come back. I'll just show you how to do it. And then while I'm sewing it, I'll just show you some clips on how to do that draping. And that will be all. All right. So this is exactly what you need for to form the words, the basic. All right, okay. Now the next is the turtleneck to do draft in the turtleneck, the color. All right, I have a video on how to draft a perfect turtleneck. I'll put the link below so that you go and watch it, so that you can make your own perfect word, turtle word neck. So I will be showing that part. All right, so now let's go ahead and cut out the fabric. Then we'll come back and show you how to drape your um. You are worried pickings and drip. Alright, let's go there.
So now I told you also I was gonna show us how to increase your boss, your cup when you're sewing. Now, once I was done with stitching the material with the cup, I had to leave like um zero point seven five on round about the what the the fabric. If you, class, if you look at it, is an allowance I added round on the cup. So this is how I usually increase the cup size of what um my cup okay i use the material to what to increase it so you just do the same thing if you want to increase with half inch you can go ahead and do that if you want to use one inch you can also so you can see mine is 0 0.75 so the cup size i'm using is 48 and so i had to add like 0 0.75 to it so that when my client wear it it will not what it won't show so this is it i was done with what we stitching um the corset so i'll go ahead and add up what my yoke you can see how it's looking i'll add my yoke on it um we'll close up the cloth so that we can start what um the dripping so um right now i'm going to add up the yoke okay i won't be showing all that the video will be very very fast because the video is very long so i won't be saying much so this is um the the strip i cut out i cut out like four five inch strip then i will fold it into two so and turn it up it will give me um two inches when i'm through with some so needs once i finish i'll go ahead and what iron it and then we'll start up what our what our dripping now your corset shouldn't look shouldn't look very very so perfect and all that okay because you know you are going to be what covering it but let it look good not really too perfect because someone will be wondering why is it why is she using a normal satin the reason why is because i'll also be covering it with what um i'll be covering it with what that um strip i cut out so go ahead now and what and join all the strip and then we'll iron it and then we'll come back we'll add our yoke and we we'll add all our yoke to our work. I'll put my color and then we'll start draping.
Now, we've come to the end of this tutorial. Wow, it took time. It took time, seriously. But I thank God it came out so beautifully well. So this is the finished look of the of the gown. All right. It might not really look like Bori Pekin's own, but at least we got it. All right. It's fine. And it came out so beautiful that even my client was very happy when she saw the dress. All right. So um, this is the turtleneck area. The turtleneck was really turtling. Okay. Um... So please, if this is the first time of coming to this channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Please subscribe, subscribe. Ah, you've been here for a long time. Please hit that bell, and not only that, hit the notification item icon so that whenever I upload video, you'll be the first to be notified. All right. So my this is my client. Why she was working her dress? She was so happy because of the what the outcome. And um, we thank God for her. All right. So um, this is the dress. She's so happy. You can see the zipper side. So blended in and fine. All right. I'm going to see you in my next class. My name is Cynthia. And bye.